Welcome to Nameless Hostage Villa. This is me Ashik and this video is going to be all about the players and the teams participating in Rainbow Six Siege Charlotte Major 2022. I know I am late. The major event started on 16th of May. But here I am and let's do it anyway. I want to keep the content flow running on this channel. So make sure that you are, you are subscribed and like the video. Let's quickly talk about the tournament format. All 16 teams have been divided in 4 groups with not more than 2 teams from the same region in a single group. These teams will play in a double round robin format with the best of 1 matches and the playoffs will be a best of 3 while the grand finale will be a best of 5 match. The winner of the grand finale will be the winner of Rainbow Six Siege Charlotte Major 2022 and it, it is the first major of this uh, year so by default they will qualify for 6 Invitational 2023. Now let's move on to the teams and the players themselves. So we start with group A and we have the first team Dire Wolves, Ed, Jackie Wu, Pikan, Souffle and Harambe. They finished third on the Apex Stage 1 playoffs and for the first time a Taiwanese team is going to be in a major event. I am not going to say that they will definitely win big in their first attempt but as experience also matters in these international tournaments and with vet veterans like Foxe, Vertical, on Oxygen, Dire Wolves lack the experience department but let's hope that they perform their level best. Hopes are high for this team especially for Harambe after this dance routine. Season you have fought and now you go to the major! Look at Harambe, oh my goodness! Next, we have Team Elevate, DCH, Sapper, Onigiri, Mark Shorts Boy and Mr. Punch. They finished in the Apex Stage 1 as first and they are the regional champion of Rainbow. Unfortunately, they are not going to participate in this tournament at all. It is a shame but they were not able to secure US visa in time. They will be rewarded the 16th place and the corresponding monetary benefits and 50 invitational points. Oxygen Esports Foxe, Laxing, Vertical, Newers and Dream Second place winner of the NAL Stage 1. I have high hopes for this team mostly because I have been watching them play for years. Uh, there have been some role switches like Foxe will play Sledge instead of the Planter but I guess they are well adjusted and will do fine. Team 1 Dots, Dash, RHZ, Maya and Lagonis they finished 4th place in the Copa LH6 Stage 1. Unfortunately, they were not able to secure US visa in time for the event. So this team along with 3 other teams of Copa LH6 will play from the Ubisoft studio in Mexico City. I don't think that this will be a discouragement for the players. Although attending the live event would have been a good experience for all of them. Moving to Group B, we have Cyclops Gaming, Aniton, Black Ray, Gatorado, Ayagator and Suzuki. Finishing second in the Apex Stage 1, I cannot ever forget this team. I have reviewed their match against Damwon Kia in Stage 1 League matches. Check out that video in description. The players to look out for are Aniton and Black Ray. Aniton because he loves to play these unconventional operators such as Glass and Monty, while Black Ray because he is the player willing to engage in opponents in gunfights and make those hero plays. Next we have Team Furia in this, in this group. Miracle, Rare, Handy, STK and Fancy. Finishing third in the Copa Elite 6 Stage 1. Same as the team 1 previously said, uh, they, are all, they will also play from Mexico City. Uh, rookie players are STK and Handy in this roster. Although they have good addition for the team, Fancy is expected to remain the top fragger. They are also losing on the experience to play in front of the audience but I guess it's better for them they might not get distracted and they will perform their level best. I guess that's that's it. Team Liquid Nesk, Resets, Palu, PSK and Ask First place winners of the Copa Elite 6 Stage 1 Nesk and Palu are the veterans on this team and with newcomers like Ask and Resets this team would be Thanos' favorite team. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Exet Kaino, Lucas, GMZ, Spirits and Yoga. Finishing 4th in the NAL Stage 1 North American League. Their performance may have been the lowest in the region to qualify for major but this team with Budega as a coach is definitely not, take, not to be taken lightly. They have some role switches going on on their team and it seems they have found the best combo. So the point of the matter is whether these switches work out on the international level or not. Let's head on to group C. This group is where the famous teams and players are, are present. So viewership will definitely rise when matches for this group are played. 
First we have Dark Zero, Hyper, Eclipse, NJR, Panbazu and Canadian. Third place in the NAL Stage 1, this team is a bunch of experienced players with an experienced coach BC and Mint. With Canadian as their IGL, obviously he wants to win the next Invitational, so he is out for blood. I think they have the potential and talent, whether or not that this talent is able to translate into their performance against the other veteran teams, that is the question. G2 Esports Citizen, Virtue, Prano, Doki and Alemao. An international lineup where all the players are from different nation. I wonder do they have communication gaps between them. Everyone knows the champions of 2018 and 19 invitationals but since then the team has seen many roster changes to the point of time where there were all 5 fraggers on this team but that didn't work out. The whole of 2021 was lackluster for them. Hope that this new roster changes that. It will be the most sought after team in terms of esports viewership for the game. Heroics Sloth, Grogona, Grizzly, Benja and Uno. They are the winners of the EUL Stage 1. Uno is the IGL and there are good chances that he leads this team to the finals. Others on the team are Benja, Grogona and Sloth are expected to perform exceptionally well as individuals. Uno has to be the glue to make this team work as one. And by the looks of it, he is the man for the job. W7M, Win7 Machine, Hertz, GD, KZ, JV9 and Wolves. They have been criticized to rely on their entry fraggers, KZ and Wolves more than the support players but that is just not how a team composition works. There are many different roles a player fulfills on the roster. To say that the, they rely more on the fraggers is not exactly correct. In stage 1, they have suffered when the fraggers were shut down early but that doesn't mean the end of the world for the whole team. Let's hope that they do their best. And now let's look at the last group, Group D. First team on the Group D is Astralis, DP, Iconic, J90, Shuttle and Forest. They are the winners of NAL Stage 1. This is the team's first major event. Hopes are high for them as their performance has been phenomenal in Stage 1. Especially Iconic, J90 and DP. This is the first global event for them and they are ready for it. Team Astralis' Siege content on YouTube is one of the best to improve your gameplay. So do check it out. Chiefs Esport Digital, Worthy, Ethan, Boydy and Bouncin Finishing at 4th in the APEC Stage 1 An all Australian team hoping to make their region and their country proud on the global stage This team is attending their second major and it will be interesting to see what they are capable of LFO Looking for Org Bibu, Rise, Shinka, P4 and Mowgli Finished 3rd in the EUL Stage 1 Alongside BDS, this is another French team. They are an orgless team and they are out for blood in this major. Their IGL is Bibu who is a veteran player and his experience will clearly show itself. Team BDS finished second in the EUL stage 1. Who doesn't know about the French team with a huge talent and potential but no invitational to their name. Shaiko, the robotic aim god will again go for kills with LMs watching his flank. The rest of the team, Bride, Renshiro and Rafal, they will also support them beautifully. All members are experienced players of high profile and they, they know how to play these international tournaments. So it won't be a shocker to see them perform very well and even win the tournament. So this is it for all the teams and players participating in Charlotte Major 2022. I know I am late and the tournament is well underway when you are watching this video. But I will still make a prediction video about the winner of this tournament based on the CGG players data. I hope I am able to upload it before the finals. It is hard to keep making these videos so your support is appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Siege is something that I enjoy the most in life and I am trying to do my best to provide value to this community. A huge inspiration for me is obviously Caliber Jacob. I just hope to gain like 10 to 20 percent of what he has achieved in this community and if that happens it would be really awesome once again if you like this content please support the channel i will upload regularly on this channel about siege so stay tuned and stay safe